Okay, we're at the uh, Three Sigma Test Lab. Uh, we're looking at the BASF uh, material and the test that we've run. We're going to run a few batches for you to show you what we're doing. This is a 12-inch feeder uh, set up with a 10 cubic foot hopper. This is the mass flow hopper you see above. When we talk about a 12-inch feeder, we're talking about what the diameter is of the unit right down here at the bottom. And that's a 12-inch diameter outlet at the bottom of the feeder. This is a feed tray. Now, this is not what your feed tray would look like. This is an open end that we use for some special applications, but it's what we have uh, for a 12 inch available for testing. When we run our test, we run it automatically from this feeder onto this check scale here. So the scale is what's actually controlling the batch back and forth. That is connected to this controller right here. As you can see right here, it's showing what the gross weight is zero pounds. We're going to add a 10 pound, excuse me, 20 pound weight to that under the scale and we'll see that the scale the controller reads that it's 19.999 right now 20 pounds so as we take that off that's where we're going to be running onto that scale from this feeder and we'll get the uh, reading out here on this controller so to give you an idea what it's going to look like your unit would actually look like this in production will be a feed tray as we see here this is a little six inch unit but it comes down the whole thing will be sealed this would be sealed as well as we're seeing that's something special we do uh, but your outlet would be here which we would then put a connection flexibly from here to that special fill head that we're using to fill your Kenny's going to start a batch over here we're now at what we call the fast speed so we're going to do a fast dribble batch meaning most will run out at a at a very fast speed, about 95% of the batch, then a very small amount will then be fed out at a dribble speed to get good accuracy. So you can see this as it's, it's kind of hard to see with the black on the material. You can definitely see how light and fluffy, we understand your concerns with dust, you can see how much going up in the dust collectors we're, we're feeding this. Um, that's why it all has to be completely enclosed and so on. But the feeder's operating right now, you know, with no moving parts with a vibrator in the back uh, running here. This is a, a mass flow hopper here. Our feeder is below, and uh, we're just going to turn the, the feeder up and watch as the product, even though it's in the conical section, will flow in mass. If we look at the lines, we've got gradations over here. So, see the material moving as we get closer. Actually moving right down that gradient. Everything in the hopper moves in mass. This happens to be a carbon based material.
second. Here's the next radiation line you're seeing right here. So it's all flowing. Nothing stuck to the walls. You can see here now it's moving down at a pretty fast rate. There's the gradient again. Moving a long ways. So it's still all flowing in mass. Kind of hard to see. Always with a dark product. Thank you. 